The final countdown for the U.S. 2020 presidential election has begun. And so many people are left in suspense. You know, who's going to win? Is it going to be Joe Biden? Is it going to be Donald Trump? You know, what's going to happen with the economy, the stock market, crypto markets, all that kind of stuff? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a blockchain application that has predicted the winner of the 2020 presidential election. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So what is this app that claims to predict the future of the 2020 presidential election? Well, it's Augur, which is a decentralized prediction market. So what is that? Well, it's an app that allows users to place bets on the outcome of future events. And if they're right, they're rewarded. And if they're wrong, they're penalized. And Vitalik Buterin called Augur Uber for knowledge. So in a very similar way that Uber crowdsources its drivers to run its service, Augur crowdsources wisdom to forecast the future. And this app allows you to see what a decentralized group of individuals thinks uh, about future events rather than a centralized group of experts. And you can use this knowledge as a data point for your own predictions about future events. And so Augur lets you bet on the outcome of many different types of events, cryptocurrency prices, sports games, and also political elections. And one of the number one markets on the Augur platform right now is the outcome of the U.S. 2020 presidential election. And right now it's calling the election for Joe Biden. So is it right? And before I get into that, you know, this is not financial advice. This is not political advice. I'm not telling you to bet on the election, nor do I claim to personally know who's going to win in 2020. But let's see how the app works so you can decide for yourself whether this is a trustworthy prediction. So Augur is a protocol for creating decentralized prediction markets. So that means that it is powered by smart contracts on the blockchain. You know, it runs on top of Ethereum. And actually, Augur was one of the first production Ethereum dApps. And so Augur is a protocol you know, powered by these smart contracts, but it is a means for other users to create prediction markets. So it's basically the tool that lets you do it. So if you get on Augur, you can go in here and you know connect your MetaMask account and create your own market like this. And when you create a prediction market, you basically give it a question. And the answer to this question you know, satisfies the outcome of a future event. So in this case, it's just a binary option, meaning it only has two choices. So, for example, you know, the question for this one is, will Donald J. Trump win the 2020 U.S. presidential election? Um, the a yes or no question or, you know, who will win the 2020 presidential election, either Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Similar kind of thing down here. Which party will control the U.S. Senate after the 2020 election, the Democratic Party or the Republican Party? And so once a user, you know, creates a prediction market like this, other people can bet on these outcomes. And they do this by purchasing shares in the outcomes. And if you're right, then you win money. And if you're wrong, then you lose money. But the important thing to understand here is that the odds of the prediction markets determine the profitability. So let's say you pick the right uh, outcome, but the odds were very high that that outcome were true. That would be less profitable than, than picking the unlikely outcome. So basically, if you place a bet on an unlikely outcome, then the upside is higher than placing a bet on a likely outcome. Or, you know, said another way, if you're betting against the crowd and you're right, then you make more money than if you're betting with the crowd and you're right. And so that could have some bearing on the uh, percentage points here. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. And so how does Augur determine the outcome of these events? So basically, like, you know, if I bet on whether, you know, Donald Trump is going to win the election or Joe Biden's going to win the election, how, do, how does the app know what the actual outcome of that future event is? Well, it uses something called oracles. So let me explain what the oracle problem is. Basically, when you have smart contracts that are on a blockchain, you know, the blockchain is a closed system. It doesn't know anything about real world data. So, for example, take the Ethereum blockchain, for example. You know, Augur runs on smart contracts on top of Ethereum. And the only thing Ethereum really knows about is basically the state of smart contracts and how much cryptocurrency other people hold in their Ethereum wallets. It's a completely closed system. So in order to get data from the outside world, it has to use something called oracles. And so an oracle is basically just a source of truth for outside real world data that can be provided to the blockchain and used inside of, you know, blockchain applications. We've seen this with other popular, you know, oracle services like Chainlink, for example. I've made several videos about Chainlink on my channel. You can check those out if you want to. But Augur uses oracles to verify these outcomes and they do it by staking rep tokens. This is Augur's own cryptocurrencies. And this is an ERC-20 token that runs on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So... 
Oracles stake their Augur tokens as collateral for uh, verifying the outcome of these events. And they're basically incentivized to act honestly and tell the truth about what happened in the real world. Because if they don't, then they will uh, lose money for, you know, saying the wrong thing. And so the oracles will act as the arbiter for this final outcome here based on the results of the U.S. 2020 presidential election. And, you know, those people who, you know, bet on them you know, the outcome, if they were right, then they are rewarded cryptocurrency. And if they're wrong, then of course they lose. And so that's how this app works. So the question is, is it useful for actually predicting the outcome of the U.S. presidential election? So I can think of a few different ways to think about this. So it, ultimately, if someone wants to make money by using this app, application. They want to place a bet and then be right and win. So one way someone might do that is to consider like what do other people think, kind of having a groupthink mentality to place a bet. And so you'll see that the prediction markets here are very similar to the mainstream non-crypto prediction markets. And so you can see in these numbers that basically, you know, Biden is in the 60s and Trump is in the 30s, which is pretty close to what's happening on Augur. So it very well could be the case that people are just looking at other predictions markets that aren't blockchain based and just placing, you know, very similar bets like that. Outcomes are very similar because just people think in a very similar way across the board. You know, it's hard to say for sure. But another incentive to think about is that, you know, people can basically win more if they pick the contrarian bet and they're right. So, for example, if somebody, you know, bets money on Donald Trump winning because he has less of a chance of winning in this particular prediction market, then they could stand to win more money. And so that's also a factor to consider when you're looking at this data. And so another thing to keep in mind is that these prediction markets are just a reflection of what the crowd thinks, not necessarily what's going to actually happen, because don't forget, you know, just four years ago in 2016, the prediction market said that, you know, Donald Trump had a 13 percent chance of winning uh, right before Election Day. And that's not what happened. <laughs> so that's definitely another thing to take into account when you're using a source like this as a data point for making your own future predictions. But on the flip side, who knows? You know, 2020 could be a totally different ball game, and the prediction markets might be 100% right. And so we'll have to wait and see. So tell me what you think. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Do you think that the prediction markets are right? Will we see Joe Biden elected president, or will we see another four years of Donald Trump? So one final thing that I've been thinking about as I've been looking at this application is that, uh, you know, some of these events expire uh, like in December or in November or something like that. And there's been lots of talk in the news about, you know, we might not know who the winner is on election night or even soon after. And if we're left in suspense, you know, past the expiration date of these prediction markets, you know, what happens? Well, this is a classic edge case in software. And it'll be interesting to see how this works in a decentralized way. So if you happen to know the answer to that question, leave a comment down in the comment section below. But that's definitely something that I'm going to be watching as these events unfold, should that actually happen. And so that's an overview of the Augur blockchain application. It's a decentralized prediction market, which lets people bet on the outcome of future events with cryptocurrency. This is like an Uber for knowledge where people can uh, basically create their own prediction markets and the other people can bet on the outcome of those things. They can win cryptocurrency. They can lose cryptocurrency. But you can use this as a data point for yourself and trying to see what the crowd thinks about you know the 2020 election. And this app is calling for a Biden victory. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And the final countdown is on. So it won't be too much longer before we know. All right, so that's all I've got. Hope you like this video. As always, go ahead and smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. It really helps this channel out so that more people can, you know, learn about blockchain, become real world blockchain developers. And if that's you, you know, how can you get started mastering blockchain today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're just like Udemy courses, but totally free. You know, I just released one on how to create a blockchain based game. So you can check that out if you want to. You can learn how to build, you know, real world uh, yield farming app, social media app, you know, whatever. And so if you like those tutorials and you want to like take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely and just learn everything step by step all the way up to building your own real world blockchain application, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. I can show you how to build that real world blockchain app so you can really up your skills so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own project. I can show you everything step by step. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.